Hello friend, on this issue I will tell you about the great Uzbek astronaut Mirza Ulubek and about his observatory, about Ulubek's museum and many interesting things. Let's go! After climbing to the top of the steps, you will see the statue of Mirza Ulubek. Who is Mirza Ulubek? Mirza Muhammad Taragai bin Shahrukh, better known as Ulubek, was born in 22 March 1394 and dead on 27 October 1449, was a Timurid Sultan as well as an astronomer mathematician. Ulubek was notable for his work in astronomy related to mathematics such as trigonometry and spherical geometry as well as his general interest in arts and intellectual activities. It is thought that he spoke five languages Arabic, Persian, Turkish, Mongolian and small amount of Chinese. During his rule, first as a governor, then outright, Timurid Empire achieved the cultural peak of the Timurid Renaissance through his attention patronage. Samarkand was captured and given to Ulubek by his father Shahro. He built the great Ulubek observatory in Samarkand between 1424 and 1429. Okay, now I'm on the top. First of all, I will look at the Ulubek museum and show you a little what is inside the museum. Ulubek Memorial Museum, Uzbek Mirza Ulubek Museum, is a museum dedicated to the famed medieval Central Asian statesman, mathematician, astronomer, and poet Mirza Ulubek, and the historical astronomy of the region. Located in the city of Samarkand, Uzbekistan, opposite the Ulubek Observatory to the right of the museum. Below the museum itself and the observatory are located on a small hill there is a monument to Ulbek against the background of a stave which depicts a starry sky. The museum was opened in 1964 during the leadership of Uzbekistan Rashidov. The author of the project is the architect Babahanov in 2010, a large-scale capital restoration and reconstruction of the Ulubek Observatory Museum and Nurbi historical sites was carried out. The museum tells about the life, work and scientific life of Mirza Ulubek about the astronomy and mathematics of that era. The museum presents historical, astronomical and mathematical objects and instruments, historical books and manuscripts found exhibits from the ruins of the observatory and its surrounding areas, including from Afrasia, reduced models of architectural monuments of Samarkand and some other cities of Uzbekistan, including models of some architectural monuments, Bukhara and Shahrisabs and other exhibits. And this is silver and copper coins minted in the era of Amir Timur of 15th century. In the 15th century writing accessories, pencil case, lamp and container, pencil and book stand. You see now. That's all of the 15th century. Did you imagine? A column fragment of Mirza Ulubek Observatory, 15th century. See it in nearly on camera. Okay, and this is model of the observatory of Mirza Ulubek. This is a mock-up, roughly what it looked like initially. You see it. It is just a mock up. I look it like initially in 15th century. Okay, this is a fragment of Ulbeck Observatory's quadrant. 
and this is the interior model of Volubeck Observatory. See it? It is just looks like it. And this is a model of the armillary sphere of the Mirza Olubek Observatory of 15th century. There is, is looks like in all these times. And this is the next model of Mirza Olubek Observatory reconstruction by Bulatov. It looks like this. It was in all these times. So. A fragment of an astronomical instrument of the Mirza Olubek's observatory found during archaeological excavations in 1908-15th century. Just image it in your thoughts, it's magical. Model of the armillary sphere of the Olubek observatory. I can touch this sorry and their double r quadrant of the ulbeck observatory reconstruction by bulatov also ulbeck constantly called people to knowledge believing that every person should be educated during his reign in central asia experienced the second era of the eastern renaissance okay so let's go to seeing the observatory of ulbeck and uh, most important place here I'm going here, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, so let's go. The Olubek Observatory is an observatory in Samarkand, Uzbekistan, built in the 1420s by the Timurid astronomer Olubek. It is considered by scholars to have been one of the finest observatories in the Islamic world. Islamic astronomers who worked at the observatory include Al Kashi, Ali Kushchi, and Olubek himself. The observatory was destroyed in 1449 and rediscovered in 1908. Olubek Observatory, also widely known as the Samarkand Observatory, is one of the most important observatories in bringing new discoveries in mathematics and astronomy. Ulbek, the son of Shahrukh and grandson of Sultan Timur, became the ruler of Samarkand in the 15th century CE. Ulbek was very skilled in mathematics and astronomy. He taught many important astronomers. One example is the famous Ali Kushchi. Many historians have tried to accurately identify dates of the events that have occurred during the Samarkand or Ulubek Observatory. The differences in interpreting dates, citations of historical sources, have caused inaccuracies and neglection of some events during this time. In Jamshid al Kashi letters to Ulubek's father, you can see Ulubek's visit to the Maraha Observatory had an effect on Ulubek. This could have affected Ulubek's reason for his transformation of the cities of Samarkand and his mathematical orientation. Other matters, such as political, economic, military, social and even commercial reasons could have played a role in the building of Ulubek's observatory. Another reason of starting his own observatory could have been because of Ulubek's difference in observations of those with al-Sufi. The Ulubek observatory was built somewhere around 824-1422 different sources mention different dates however many sources mention around 830 to be the date of the observatory's foundation and 4022-4028 to be the period during which the construction of the observatory was complete many old Persian texts include the Samarkand observatory and the great Ulubek you can now see the facet from the side 
The Samarkand Observatory was a place for astronomers and mathematicians to work together in finding new discoveries. The Lubeck Observatory was built according to the plans of the Maraka Observatory, which was designed by Nasser al-Din al-Tusi. Lubeck's observatory included the largest quadrant principal device. The building was not tall but was allowed a maximal size for the arc of the circle. This device was carefully oriented and the arc was scaled very accurately. This device was versatile. It could accurately measure the sun from the horizon, the altitude of a star and other planets. The duration of the year, period of planets and eclipses were measured by this device. Lubeck's measurements of planets closely relate to today's measurements, showing us the phenomenal accuracy of the device. People visiting Lubeck's observatory today can only see the foundations and the buried part of the Merby quadrant. Those are the only original vestiges from the observatory. Much of the decline of the observatory could be attributed to Lubeck assassinations by Abdel Latif in around 1449. Lubeck's death caused house within the observatory. The observatory was destroyed and dozens of talented astronomers and mathematicians were driven away. Don't forget comments, likes and subscribe on our channel. Hope you like it, our videos and watch it. Thank you very much. See you soon, my friend. Goodbye.